Father Sampathik from CG Virus here. Now we are going to see how to use Transform Mask. What is Transform Mask? Transform Mask is basically a kind of a smart transformation uh, which can retain your resolution, you know, image resolution for your asset. So suppose we have this guy here. So if I'm going to, you know, just go here and Ctrl C, copy. So I'm going to use uh, template here. So we have a huge template. So press Ctrl V to paste it here, which is good. So I'm going to duplicate this guy to just to show you what is happening here. So now if I go to the Ctrl T, I can select it, right? So now I'm going to transform it somewhere here. Okay, done. Now if I go here and uh, you know, uh, suppose we are doing some work, and uh, suddenly we wanted to, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to uh, transform it again. So we are pressing Ctrl T. Now I'm going here. You can see already in all the details we had here has been gone. You know. Very common scenario. Uh, so in Photoshop, there is uh, to uh, prevent this problem, we have uh, a transform uh, a smart material system a smart um, something like a smart image system so um, in Krita we also have this thing so what you can do is basically here go to transform mask okay so transform mask what it will do you can now transform your stuff okay here we go now again I'm going to press brush and I'm going to do some and suddenly our mind said say mind says that no it should be a huge so yeah that's what you can do but there is a problem the problem is uh, just like Photoshop I'm not sure about the new CC but uh, when we were uh, in the Photoshop uh, what we have seen that uh, sometimes um, the transform mask uh, or the smart masking system doesn't work with uh, filtering or things this is pretty much same here you cannot work with filtering you know, properly in transform mask okay so what you have to do is basically uh, when you are uh, you know you have decided that okay it should be here all right this will be our thing so you need to uh, right click and uh, you need to flatten the layer first okay now you can work with it properly but uh, if you want to uh, change it again you can do a transform mask here not a problem so press ctrl t and then you know, work with it again so uh, that's how you can work with it pretty much so suppose we have this and uh, we are going to blur it here and then we want to transform mask here so we can do it like that here as well, not a problem. So control T. Suppose I want to bigger it, you know. You can do it, not a problem. So uh, this is some advanced technique you can use for your transformation. Okay, it will retain your resolution. That's all. So that's how you can use transform mask. All right. Up next is transparency mask, important one. So we're going to talk about it.